Hey there! In this video I will show you how to split components into separate files and then combine them. Why do we need to do that? Because it's a good practice to store one component in one file. The exception could be some really small components made with one or two tags. When we're splitting components into separate files, we're using export and import technique to combine them. It is not a part of React library, it is a technology of JavaScript modules. We can use two types of export. Uh, it is named and default. Uh, we should use, in most cases, default one uh, when there is only one component in the file. And we should use named if we want to export several components from one file. Let's see how it works in the code. Let's create a components folder in our src folder. Components. And let's create a file for our heading component, which is now sitting inside our uh, app file. So, new file, heading, ts x and then just copy this here we should import react and then we should paste it here <clears throat> all right and now uh, here we see that uh, heading is declared but it's never read so in this heading file, we are not using this variable, so we need to export it. To do that, we need to write export default heading. And let's change something just to check that it is working. So your own React Pocket Guide will turn in your own React Pocket Helper. Right, after we exported our component, we can use it inside other components. So let's do that. Let's return to our app component and import it there. So let's write import heading. And as you see, uh, Visual Studio Code is smart enough to just uh, highlight that we have a heading component and it is already seeing the path to it so we just should hit enter and we have the proper import with a proper uh, path uh, so uh, now we should just delete uh, this component here because it is the same name and now when we click save now we have your own React Pocket Helper here. So now it is reading this from uh, our external file. All right, that was the default export. Uh, so remember, when you have one pretty big component uh, and it is one component per file, you should use default exporting and when you're exporting as default uh, inside import it is look like that so without any uh, any curly braces just import heading from heading and let's take a look at another uh, export import type named one so let's create another file and let's call it simple components TSX. And let's define here some really simple one-line components. Let's import React first and then we can define here some, for example, simple div and it 
will be a functional component and it will just return one div with some text and that's it so as you see uh, when we have just one liner we don't have to have a parenthesis we don't have to use curly braces and since we're using arrow function we even don't need a return statement uh, so and now we need to export it we can do it in two ways we can write here export and now we will have an access to this to this component and we can do it in another way if you for example want to I know let's copy it and let's say that it will be simple span and it will return a span I'm span tag and here it will be I'm a df tag and for example you don't want to have this export words everywhere for example you have like i don't know 10 different components you can uh, export it at the end of the file in this way export simple span it will be like the same the same thing it's up to you what uh, syntax to use and now uh, we can use it inside our app component let's import it import and just start to type uh, the name of of your variable of your exported uh, variable com of the component so let's import simple div simple and as you see we got the prompt from visual studio code and just hit enter and here is the key difference if we have the named uh, import uh, the named export and import uh, when we import in it we should import it with this curly braces when we have a default import we we don't have them so and inside the same curly braces we can also import this simple span component and then we can use it let's use it here uh, so simple div and let's see if it works yeah it is working and let's use a simple span and it's working as well so that's it for uh, import and export of the components remember you have two options you have two options the default one and the named one so follow me to uh, to see more videos on react hit that like button subscribe to my channel and happy coding